Today's verse comes from James chapter 4, verse 8. It says this, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James here says something that I find just a little bit offensive. He calls the Christians that are reading this double-minded. That means he's calling me and you double-minded. Have you ever experienced that? I know I have. And actually, if you feel like you're double-minded, guess what? You probably are. Because there's this thing that I know I want to do, but yet I do this other thing, even though I know it's not right. That's being double-minded. And actually, the Apostle Paul speaks to this directly. He says, I do the things that I don't want to do, and the thing I want to do, I can't do. For some reason, he had this same struggle. So you're in good company. The Apostle Paul did it. Uh, and everyone throughout history has been double-minded in some way because we experience the fall. We experience our disordered desires rising up in us, leading us away from the way of Jesus. Spiritual practices every day. We sometimes call them disciplines. They sound really difficult, but they're so helpful. Reading the scriptures, praying daily, reframing our minds through God's word, through his knowledge, not my own. That helps me not be double-minded, going in the way that I want to go rather than the way that God calls me to go. You see, uh, there are spiritual practices that throughout history, Christians have, have given their lives to in order to keep their minds focused and stayed on the way of Jesus. So what are those spiritual practices for you? What are the things that help you daily set your eyes on Jesus and set your way, your actions on his ways? So you stay in step with him. For me, it's been reading my Bible each day, spending time in prayer, asking God to shape my day, actually finding ways to surrender to him. It's not just a weekly practice of going to church. It's not just a weekly check-in with my small group. No, it's got to be much more than that. I don't want to miss days walking with Jesus because he calls me to walk with him every day. It's not just one day a week. It's every day. It's not just a, a portion of your day. Actually, it's all of it. And I have found when I give the morning to God, the first few minutes of the day where I read a psalm and I spend some time in prayer, if I start my day with that, it usually shapes the rest of my day. If I miss that, I know my day is going to go all over the place. I'm going to feel double-minded all the time. But I frequently do that. There's been another practice that I've incorporated at different points in my life when I really feel like, man, I've been so double-minded. What I'll do is I'll, I'll create a reminder on my phone, a little calendar uh, reminder in the morning and one midday and one in the evening. A few calendar reminders or calendar events just for five to ten minutes where I block out that time and just spend it in prayer and reflection on whatever the reading was for the day. Sometimes that's a psalm. Sometimes it's James uh, chapter 4, verse 8, and other things like that. But finding a rhythm. So let me ask you this question. What daily spiritual practices are helping you grow closer with God? And which ones do you need to be more consistent with? Would you reflect on that today? Make a commitment. Maybe make a reminder in your phone. Maybe talk to your small group about it or somebody that you trust that's helping you follow Jesus each day. Let me launch you to into a time of prayer and reflection that God will reveal the things that he wants to speak through to you and wants to work on your heart as you are being formed. Um, God would just reveal the right disciplines for you to have on a daily basis in your life. Lord, I thank you that we're not in this life alone, that each day we can rely on you. Lord, I lift up my friend as they're watching this today. They're seeking you. Lord, I pray that through your word, through a friend, through um, circumstance, Lord, would you reveal to us the things that we need to do each day, whatever that might be. And it might be different for all of us, Lord. I pray that, that you would reveal it to us, that we would be committed to it. Lord, I pray that you would give us a conviction to, to 
prioritize time aside with you each day so that we can walk in your ways and not depart from it. To not be double-minded, uh, blown around by every different teaching or, or feeling, but, but God, will we be steadfast in you? Lord, would you help us to do that by the power of your Spirit? It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Peace, friends.